Hey there, today I want to give you an updated review of the sort that. In this video, I want to break down Inventory Lab. Now, if you've been selling on Amazon, uh, you might start to realize that listing products on Amazon via Seller Central can take a really long time and you have to go if you want to really do a good job of, of pricing right and making sure that you're you're priced competitively and you know uh, you want to be able to look at your numbers to be able to uh, understand what's being profitable and what's not it, you have to open up different websites and tabs and download different tools and stuff and they can get really cumbersome and take a long time to properly list items on Amazon through Seller Central well Inventory Lab a couple of years ago came to the rescue by creating a all-in-one listing software for Amazon sellers and I actually put together a video a couple of years ago talking about Inventory Lab and why we choose to use Inventory Lab uh, but it's a couple of years old and I thought I would update that for you now because man there's so many more awesome things that have been added to Inventory Lab and I want to give you my honest review of Inventory Lab and how it can impact your Amazon business so Inventory Lab, you can find out more about it by going to fulltimefba.com forward slash inventory lab. But right now, there's seven main reasons why we use Inventory Lab uh, to, with our Amazon FBA business. And every single one of these reasons boils down to saving time and saving money. All this stuff is going to save you time and save you money. And honestly, make you money because the better decisions you make with your business, the more money you're going to make. With your Amazon business. So let me get right into the seven reasons why we choose Inventory Lab as our listing software. Number one, Inventory Lab is a feature rich program. It is a service that offers so many features and, and there's so many of them that I, I'm even st still learning about. But what happens is when we list items on Amazon, you know, we've got a little desktop scanner, we scan the barcode in, and it shows up right up in Inventory Lab. In Inventory Lab, when I create a batch, I scan the item with my barcode scanner and it shows up on my computer screen with all the information that I need to make a proper pricing decision uh, and, and so on. And so I'm able to go in and, and Inventory Lab automatically pulls in from Amazon, you know, all the, the prices, the FBA price, the merchant fulfilled price, new price, use price, collectible price. If Amazon's a seller, who has the buy box? If Amazon has the buy box, um, it shows in so many things and it shows you right there on the screen all that information. It tells you if you need to use a certain type of prep. It tells you if you're restricted from selling a, a certain uh, item. It tells you the size of the item. If it's a standard size or it's an oversize, it's probably going to go to another warehouse. You can enter in your buy cost and you can enter in the store that you purchased it from. Uh, you can enter in your high price, your low price. Uh, and so you get you can you get all that right in one place so that you just, you know, uh, find that information and quickly make a choice on what you want to price it at. There's quick links to Keepa, Camel, Camel, Camel. You can check out eBay. You can check out other places to get an idea of how to best price your item. And I can't imagine doing my Amazon business without just this feature alone, being able to list it with all this information. I absolutely love it. Number two, Inventory Lab can limit the number of warehouses that Amazon wants you to send your inventory to. This could be a huge game changer for those of you who are like, I'm trying to send in 50 items and it's going to 11 different warehouses. Here's the reason why. When you set up a, a batch and create a batch in Inventory Lab, you can choose private workflow or live workflow. If you choose live, whatever Amazon decides to, whatever warehouse Amazon decides to send your inventory to, you're stuck because it's live. And when you enter it in, it goes live to Amazon but you can also choose with Inventory Lab to do it in private mode, which means that nothing is decided upon until you finish your batch and, and upload it to Amazon. So even in private mode, it might get, tell you you're sending it to 11 different warehouses, but when you click submit, it, Amazon will crunch them together, uh, the warehouses together, not literally, obviously, but um, and will lower the number of inventory uh, warehouses that you're gonna send your inventory to. So if it was once 11, uh, in inventory lab with going through Amazon might crunch it down to just four warehouses. Uh, there's been times where I was going to send something to 15 warehouses and it crunched it down to just three. And I was like, I love that. Now, it always, almost always does it with fewer warehouses. Uh, unless you have inventory placement turned on, it's not going to crunch it down to one. Even if you did have that turned on, it might, if you have an oversized item or a clothing item or a shoe item, it still might go to multiple warehouses. But inventory lab will 
when you list it through the private workflow, will lower the number of warehouses that Amazon will have you send your inventory to. Number three, Inventory Lab comes bundled with Scatify. Scatify is the sourcing app that I just can't live, I can't source without it. I take my smartphone, I scan an item, the barcode, and it, all that information that I told you that Inventory Lab has when you're listing it on Amazon shows up on your smartphone. You get to see the sales rank. You get to see the sales rank in comparison with the rest of the sales, like what percentage it is. You get to see the new prices, the used prices, the FBA prices, if Amazon is in, uh, on the listing, if Buy Box, you have quick links to Keepa and Camel, Camel, Camel. Uh, if you're restricted, it will show you. There'll be a little restricted button, but you, then you can click that little button on restrictions and it will tell you which uh, items you are approved to sell, which ones you aren't approved, or which conditions uh, you can right there within the app, click to apply to sell restricted items. I have a whole video about that. Um, you can follow the link on the screen to see the video of how I use Scottify to get approved to sell restricted items um, and so much more. There's uh, amazing information that well, you can use to help you know if you should even buy that item in the first place. In fact, I want to make a, a whole video reviewing Scottify and uh, an updated video about Scottify and what I love about Scottify and how it can help you. So be looking for that very soon. All right, the fourth thing that I love about Inventory Lab is the amazing accounting possibilities. Uh, Inventory Lab helps you, helps automatically pull all of the Amazon fees, all of the Amazon returns, all that stuff that Amazon uh, has numbers in regards to your profitability and, and fees and stuff. Inventory Lab will pull that. And then whatever other fees that are there, like your mileage or your um, you know packing supplies or whatever else that you're spending money on, you can enter that in and Inventory Lab can, can figure that out, do your accounting. Uh, you can figure out your end of the year uh, profit and loss. You can figure out how much you made, all that kind of stuff. It's really important in any type of business to know your numbers. Inventory Lab helps you know your numbers with the accounting options within Inventory Lab. Number five, uh, it, it, really, really good reports. I mean, and you might be thinking, reports, that's not much fun. Um, well, let me tell you this. I ran a report one time because I always put in my supplier as the store that I purchase from um, or the wholesale supplier that I purchase from. I've run reports where I thought sourcing at this one store was profitable and I thought this other sourcing at this other store wasn't as profitable and it was actually flip-flopped. And so I was like, oh man, I need to source more at this one store because it's actually helping me have more profits. Whereas this other store that I thought was good isn't as good as I thought. And you can include, uh, instead of typing in this, uh, the the source of your inventory by the store, if you have anyone that you've hired to source for you, you can type in their name and then you can go and run reports to see how well they've done and see if they're doing well, uh, if they deserve a raise or if they deserve a bye-bye or a better training maybe, who knows what. But uh, Inventory Lab can help you with that with, per with um, the reports that they offer you. Two more, and this one is, is pretty recent, um, Inventory Lab includes integration with Be Cool. Be Cool, spelled B Q O O L, is an automatic repricing service that I use to reprice my inventory on Amazon automatically. Be Cool has really awesome, cool uh, repricing algorithms that you can set up for your items on Amazon. And one of the most annoying parts about setting up a repricer is entering in the buy cost. Well, guess what? If you entered in the buy cost in Inventory Lab, be cool will pull that buy cost into its service and so you don't have to do that anymore. And then now you can just, you know, see what your your repricing high price is, your repricing low price and be able to let it just crunch the numbers and, and reprice for you to be able to get the buy box more often or whatever your strategy is for using a repricer. So uh, that I love that. It saved a bunch of time. And then the last reason why I love using Inventory Lab is that I can connect a third party to Inventory Lab to create shipments uh, for me to Amazon. So if I use a prep center, I can let uh, I can create a sub account in my Inventory Lab account so that a prep center uh, can go into my Inventory Lab, not see any of, my, any of my financial information, not see anything of how much stuff costs, not seeing what I'm making, not my profits, none of my information like that, but they can go in and create um, it, you know, shipments to Amazon. They can print out F and SKUs for my FBA inventory. They can go in and, you know, uh, update my shipments and, and do all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's pretty awesome to be able to set that up so that the prep center, who I use to, uh, you know, outsource my prepping and shipping, 
Um, it's called My Prep Center. You can look them up, fulltimefba.com forward slash My Prep Center. And, uh, and, and they just get access through my inventory lab and can do a lot of really good things for me so that it's off my plate. So again, another thing that saves me time, saves me money, and actually makes me money too. So those are the top seven features that I love selling, uh, or I, I love using Inventory Lab for. There's a ton more. I mean, there's like custom F, uh, custom M SKUs, and a whole lot of other features that Inventory Lab offers that, that I'm just scratching the surface on. I'd have like a three hour video if I talk to you about all the ones that are, are profitable for you. But for more information about Inventory Lab, you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash Inventory Lab. You can get a month free of Inventory Lab, which comes bundled with the Scottify sourcing app. So you have almost every aspect of your Amazon business covered from listing to pricing to sourcing to, I mean, you, got, you have it all right there. Um, with Inventory Lab. And if you're interested for more information, there's a webinar for you. You can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash Inventory Lab webinar and you can watch the webinar and learn even more about how awesome Inventory Lab is. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up below. I'd appreciate that. And come hang out at the blog with us, fulltimefba.com is where all the goodies are given and uh, especially some freebies here and there. Subscribe to the blog and you'll get some good stuff to help you turn part-time hours into a full-time income with Amazon. Well, take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.